400 kilowatt and a WRX. That is truly EJ mad. Chris brought his 2010 WRX into PBMS about a year ago and decided to do the first round of modifications from factory. So at that point, we've done a stage six upgrade, which is a bolt-on package, still retaining the factory turbocharger. And we were making 252 kilowatt to the wheels. So the stage six package that was originally performed included a three inch downpipe. We've got uh, NVIDIA three inch catback exhaust. We've also got some PSR unequal length headers. On intake side, we're running a 76 mil process west intake. We have a parent turbo inlet pipe and IG TGV deletes. And then a drum speed top mount intercooler. Fuel system at that point was only an upgraded in tank fuel pump and all tuned on ECU tech. forward to today now we are at 400 kilowatt on e85 and 355 on 98 so today we have reused as many parts as possible of the original build which has been really good to see that with we could transition them into a 400 kilowatt package but we've also added some extra components of course to make that power so in the heart being the fp black turbocharger which gives us all the grunt we've significantly upgraded the fuel system as well to be able to support that power level and E85 with injector dynamics, ID1700 XDS injectors. We've got a radium fuel hanger with twin pumps in now. And we're also running an upgraded fuel pressure regulator from TurboSmart. All that can easily hold support that power of 400 kilowatt. So in this application, we have gone for a twisted, uh, twisted mount location for the FP Black. We have uh, made our own PBMS uppipe to suit the PSR headers, modified the downpipe, and we were also able to modify the process waste intake so we can still reuse that as well. So now that the car is at a whole other level and a lot more serious, we've gone away from ECU tech and to an Imtron standalone ECU that just gives us full control of the vehicle and we're able to add additional sensors like the flex fuel we've got a fuel pressure and temp sensor in here as well and it gives us opportunity to add more in the future add driver displays and safety features as well as motorsport functions like launch control anti-lag um, rolling launch whatever the heart desires. Further, we've made a couple more custom, custom bits in house. So we ended up fabricating a, a heater tank to suit, as well as an air oil separator that is positioned underneath the intercooler. So everything is nice and compact, but very functional. itself is a PBMS built forged engine that has our closed deck modification to the block. We're running CP pistons, mainly turbo tough rods, um, ARP625 plus head studs and Calford heavy duty valve springs with 
was a, a camp package from Calfords. And then we have a lightweight flywheel and heavy duty ceramic clutch from Extreme. The engine has been fully blueprinted, balanced, and some light porting on the cylinder heads has also been performed. As temperatures are always something that needs to be looked at when increasing horsepower, we've also fitted a Koyo radiator in the front, as well as a remote oil cooler set up by Perrin. This package is, is really enjoyable to drive on the road. Um, it is a bit more aggressive due to the cam choice, but you would otherwise hardly notice that it is, is not a stock car while you're just cruising around. But as soon as you do want to unleash the power, there is serious potential there and it's putting you into the seat hard. All up, we believe this is a really nice package. It's stealth. No one could tell from the outset that this car is laying down 400 kilowatt. It's uh, very happy and I hope Chris uh, is as well. Thanks again for choosing PBMS and bringing your WRX into us. We've fairly enjoyed working on it and I hope you have plenty of fun back road and track days with your vehicle. If you like this video, please help support us by liking the video, share it with your friends, Follow us on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube and there'll be plenty more content for you to watch.